Uh, without further delay, I give the floor to Professor Royal Gardner to, to make this statement. Professor Gardner has been a member of the Ransar Convention's Scientific and Technical Review Panel since 2005 and chair since 2013. An internationally recognized expert in wetland law and policy, he is professor of law and director of the Institute for Biodiversity Law and Policy, policy at Stetson University here in the United States. You have the floor, Professor. Thank you very much, Chair. Good morning, Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, respected colleagues. Many thanks to the UN Forum on Forest Secretariat, UN Water, and the permanent mission of Sweden for organizing this event. It is indeed an honor to be part of this joint celebration of the International Day of Forests and World Water Day. It is quite fitting to make explicit the connection between forests and water as they are mutually interdependent. And wetlands, especially forested wetlands, as you just saw in that excellent film, clearly illustrate these linkages. It is a pleasure to be here on behalf of the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands. The Ramsar Convention is one of the earliest modern multilateral environmental agreements. It was concluded in 1971 in the seaside city of Ramsar, Iran, and entered into force in 1975. Ramsar now has 169 contracting parties. The term wetlands encompasses many different types of aquatic ecosystems, marshes, bogs, fens, swamps. As a technical matter, what is a swamp? It is a forested wetland, and there are many different types of forested wetlands. Earlier today in Geneva, my colleagues in the Ramsar Secretariat participated in a forest and water event hosted by the government of Finland and the Swiss Confederation, and there they focused on peatland forests. Here I will focus on mangrove forests. Mangroves are found in more than 123 countries located along tropical and subtropical coasts at the intersection of land and sea. UNEP reports that more than 100 million people live within 10 kilometers of large mangrove forests and millions more depend on the ecosystem services that these forested wetlands provide. Mangroves are a source of food and employment for people. They provide nursery areas for commercially important fisheries species. Mangroves maintain water quality by filtering sediments, contaminants, and nutrients. Mangroves are also critical for disaster risk reduction. Their complex root systems reduce wave energy and stabilize soil thereby protecting coastal areas against erosion and storms. And mangroves are globally important by providing essential carbon storage. They are among the most carbon-rich ecosystems in the world, sequestering approximately 1,000 tons of carbon per hectare. But mangroves can only provide people with these benefits if they are understood, properly valued, and appropriately protected. To accomplish its mission of contributing to wetland conservation and sustainable development, the Ramsar Convention has three pillars, three main pillars or obligations, each of which are relevant to mangroves. First, each contracting party must designate and conserve at least one area within its territory as a wetland of international importance also known as a Ramsar site. There are now 2,231 Ramsar sites throughout the world encompassing a protected area network of more than 214 million hectares, which is larger than the surface area of Mexico. More than 10% of Ramsar sites around the world contain mangroves, including Everglades National Park, close to my home in Florida, and the massive mangrove forests in the Sundarbans in Bangladesh and India. Contracting parties are committed to maintaining the ecological character and thus the ecosystem services of these special sites. 
The second pillar under the Ramsar Convention is more generally applicable. It calls for the wise use of all wetlands within a contracting party's territory. Wise use of wetlands is linked to sustainable use, to sustainable development. It requires site level management along with integrated water resource management across multiple sectors. Here we have significant challenges. Mangroves are one of the most threatened ecosystems. The global rate of mangrove loss is three to five times greater than the overall rates of global forest loss. And we have already lost over a quarter of our original mangrove coverage. Causes for mangrove destruction include conversion for aquaculture, agriculture, plantations, and coastal development, as well as pollution, the obstruction of freshwater flows, and the over-exploitation for timber and fuel wood. There remains an urgent need to protect and conserve these invaluable ecosystems. The third Ramsar pillar is international cooperation. And it is through international cooperation where there are great possibilities for advancing the wise use of mangroves. For example, Ramsar has been collaborating with the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA, on the Global Mangrove Watch, which is part of JAXA's Kyoto and Carbon Initiative. The use of radar imagery from JAXA's satellites will map changes in the extent of mangroves over time. Mapping the change status of mangroves, globally and regionally, can facilitate prioritization for protection efforts and identification of restoration opportunities. Similarly, Globe Wetland Africa is a large earth observation application project funded by the European Space Agency. This project, in partnership with Ramsar, will produce an open source and free of charge software toolbox and other earth observation products for use from local to basin scales. In closing, I wish to highlight again that forests and wetlands are embodied together in the Sustainable Development Goals. Under the Water Goal, Target 6.6 .6 calls to protect and restore water-related ecosystems, including forest and wetlands. And under the Biodiversity Goal, Target 15.1 calls for the conservation, restoration, and sustainable use of forests and wetlands in line with obligations under international agreements, which would include the Ramsar Convention. Thank you again for inviting Ramsar to be part of this uh, wonderful event, and I look forward to the other presentations and the uh, following discussion. Thank you.